Hi there, my name is Kunberg and welcome to my channel. This is Pound of Ground. Hang on a second, turn this audio down a minute. There we go. Uh, this is a Pound of Ground, an action zombie third person shooter. Um, the developer is Centauri Production, the pu publisher is Bohemian Interactive. Just turn the sound down, I can still hear it crackling away in the background. Uh, it came out in 2010, it's got mixed reviews, it's currently for £9 on Steam. Um, it's got single player and Steam achievements. It's a story driven, crazy shoot 'em up game with a red car and lots of zombies. There you go. So, the, just so you know, when you play, when you start up the demo, I don't know what the main game's like, when you start up the demo and you press start, uh, you get this. Um, you go to basically a Steam page and it says I never was encountered with the Steam key or something like this or with the, with the key and because it's a demo there is no key um, so I thought oh has it crashed no here I am but that's currently there on my screen I'm not going to show you but that's what there is so the options I'll put the options back there I don't know what the music is I'll have to drop that down maybe uh, change that to the resolution that you're on. I left it at 60 hertz. I'm on a 144 monitor, but YouTube only allows 60 hertz um, uploads anyway. I think I can't remember. I haven't got a clue. No, that's 60 fps or oh, whatever. Anyway, there you go. Uh, I've left all this alone as it is. Left all this as it is, and these are the controls. But for me, I think it's W S A and D E for action, and basically. That's all I'll probably end up using. Um, just confirm that. And I haven't gone anywhere. I've I've no idea what we got. Oh, that's exit. So I'm going to click new game, and we're just going to go for it. I've got my clock here to tell me this time what the hell the time is. Right, let's go. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ow! Damn the lights! Private illuminator. Turn the damn thing on or I'll degrade you! Damn greenhorns, they have no respect. Ha! Good morning, my name is General Julio Fernandez. I'm glad to see so many of you here today. Get ready then. Today, I have a theme. Picture number one, please. I'm sure you recognize Snake City. So did I. This is where it all took place. And you'll be the first people in the world who will learn how it really happened. It all began here, near the square. An ordinary day. Usual street life of a normal city somewhere in the Middle West. Um. Okay. Oh. But then, that thing appeared. The monster. They captured it by chance, on the right side of the picture. I repeat, on the right side of the picture. <laughs> Yes, terrible. It would have been terrible had the monster been alone, but it wasn't. No. Oh. <laughs> a multitude of undead monsters and a defenseless city at their mercy. Defenseless? Maybe not quite defenseless. You don't know that it wasn't the army that almost saved Snake City, do you? No! Neither helicopters or tanks or a special unit. It was a special weapon. This weapon. That's him. That's the one who almost brought the affairs to a happy end. The oh. monsters came from hell, and he's the only one who knows what to do. He takes the weapon and sets out to fight them. Oh god, please. In fact, I don't have a clue. Oh, that's, that, that sounds like me. 
Oh, and there I am. This is where it actually started. A forlorn farm, its location unknown. That big stubby thing is Major. That is Johnny Major, originally the local fat cat. Then a homeless man, then a rich man again, and now once again a home. Well, let's not go too fast. In any case, here we have a unique opportunity to see his first encounter with the deadly creatures. Without a weapon, by the way. For he's a real man, okay. or an idiot. Mm. Luckily, luckily, the hero's never on his own. Come on, Furblow, you godless beast! A forlorn farm. Its location unknown. Yet there is someone around. Well built, joyful, with a good heart and a shotgun. Notice the last item especially. And now count. One major. One farmer with a shotgun. A handful of zombified citizens. The result? A massacre! But we'll leave that up to our heroes, won't we? Oh, and. Even the mouse changes the camera view. Okay, there I am. Oh, I look pretty swanky there. Look at my, look at my coat. Woohoo! Hey! Uh. I'm here! In the house! You can't beat them with bare hands! Bring him here to my window! I'm gonna shoot him! That's up. Top part of the screen displays a task. Which is necessary to complete. The tab key toggles. Bring the zombies under the farmer's gun for your left. There's a mini map in the top of it. Where the hell are they? Well, the found is... Alright. Come on, you gutless little sods. Where are you? Oh, there you are. There you are. Where is he? Peek-a-boo! Where did he go? Oh, there he is. What, what, what's he, is he stopping? And, pick one and there's more of oh. them coming! You're doing well, boy! An evil look ain't gonna hurt him, but it'll definitely attract their attention. Eh, hey, drag them to me, I'll show them how God invented the strainer. Come on! Do you think somebody here's afraid of you? I ain't, that's for sure. And don't show your teeth! Do you think that'll impress me? I don't have glasses anyway! Okay, let's pick this thing up. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's money. I'm rich. Uh, there's one over here, apparently. There he is. Ka ching Shit. Dasher, you really are Dasher. Dasher. Wait, I'll go make eyes at you. My eyes. 
Oh, I even though there's lots of those monster eyes lying around here, but I won't use those unless you want me to, that is. All right. Is any more money just died about? Ooh, that was a ride, pretty boy. I'm telling you, a murderous duet. The beautiful farmer and you are Major, aren't you? Major, Johnny Major. Nice to meet you. I'm farmer, local farmer. And what you see around is what's left of my assistants, godless beasts. Probably took you by surprise how they jumped at you, didn't it? Bony bastards. I told them. I told to try and attack, and that I was angry and armed with a shotgun. So they tried. Thanks for passing by, Dapper. You coming from the desert? Yeah, I guess so. I don't really know. Darkness, and then I stand here, and, 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 a, and a voice tells me I'm a hero, and that there are zombies here, and I have to do something about it. So I did. I see, I see. Maybe I don't, but that don't make any difference anyway. Hey, it's strange that you're coming from the desert and you aren't bone, skin, and teeth like the others. Either your immunity's strong or, or that's the way out. That or the other, but we must take advantage of it. We'll start with short steps. The monsters wanted to tear me to pieces, but on top of that, they stole my material. Seven things and seven geese. They ate the geese, but the things lying around here. In the meantime, I'll devise a plan. Over here to get one item. Was this gold? Oh no. Oh, there's there's a zombie here. Oh fuck off. Don't mind the suggestions, but they're kind of like in my way. I can't jump. Oh Jesus, where'd this lot come from? I can't. Shit. I don't even know where I'm going, I'm going down here. Safe all the time, fine. Okay, I'm going over here. Over there, there's one over there. God, I'll tell you one thing, I'm recording at a stupid time at night, so I'm actually melting here. Fuck off. Eat dirt! 
I don't know what he said. I'm too busy trying to survive. There's a health kit over there. The zombies are buggered off. Oh, there's one over there. I'll keep that for later. Ugh. Can't jog up this hill. over here. Yeah, there it is, I can see it. I don't know how to get to it though, I'm just trying to think. Well, I've already been here, haven't I? Basically, warm, sunny day, and I'm melting in this. <laughs> uh. There she is. No, oh, she's not. She's here. Great performance, of course. Of course. Of course. Yes. Now that I have my material, I know who to get out. Look, this is what's to blame for everything. I don't know its name. But I call it the machine that makes green muck. And the green muck turns people into green monsters. I don't know much more right now. All I know is that it mustn't stand there. It mustn't. I concocted a bit of explosive for you. Oh, Go to the thing and blow it all up. It's right behind that hill over there. Yeah. And should things go real bad, here's something to boost your health. Oh, good. I've got... Oh, it's over there. I'm guessing it's up here. I can't run up this damn hill. Uh, where is it? I don't need to hit them, I just need to run. <laughs> oh, there it is over there. Get in. Uh.
piss off you little fuckers. Yeah, I know, but how do I get in there? Can I jump? Uh, what's to get into a door? Dynamite's five, okay, I got that. Action Z. But how do I... Do I have to go over here? Nope, no, not that way. There's another way in. The zombies don't come after you, that's the weird thing. That I would assume they come belting after me, but maybe this is the demo, because that's what kills them, isn't it? Is this... Can't go up there. Oh, I wonder if I have to go over there. God, it's like a sauna in this house. Run! Saw them all. Wow! Oh yes. I can get one here, but I'm down if I can get one in battle for three. Right. Okay. And you dead here. Uh, where is it? Back to the graves with you. Next in. Here we see in detail what happens when an angry hero blows up a fog-making machine. The machine breaks into pieces and the fog disappears. And as if that wasn't enough, a magical carriage appears. 
A way out? Go to Snake City, hero! You're the only hope for that damn city! And stop by again. Write to me. I'm gonna get in the car for the moment, because that is the name of the game. Okay, let's have a go in the car for the moment, because, um... Alrighty. Where's where am I going? Where am I? Is that me? I need to turn around then, don't I? Alright, let's go this way. this green thing ah cool that's good because it's about to stop the game anyway well okay so let me just go to the options menu just turn the volume down it's not bad you know as I can send the mixed reviews because it's not what you think it is. I, d I don't know what it, you know, there's, there's those zombies. But what I kind of like about it is the fact that they're not all there. Like, you know, when I was running off to get to that, uh, that thing at the end, the fog making machine, they didn't sort of all lay after me. If I didn't want to attack them, I didn't have to, I could just belt it past them, and then they just stayed where they were, which I think is kind of cool because it means you don't have to just constantly just kill them all. There is a story. There is some funny elements. It's not bad. Nine pounds, is it nine pounds? Nine pounds is a bit... I'm not sure if I... Maybe I would like to play a full game of this. I don't know, it's weird. There's a lot of reviews I'm playing lately and I'm starting to like a lot more games than I normally go for. This one I think I would actually enjoy. Um, well, I'll say now. i am probably dying boredom halfway through it, but... Yeah, so if you like zombie games and all that stuff, then go for it. If you like games with a bit of adventure and a bit of humour and stuff like that, like this game has, then go for it. But if you don't, then don't bother. But for me, is that a pterodactyl flying by? For me, um, I like the game. You know, it's it's different, it's quirky, it's got different ways, and the fact, like I say, that you don't um, have to attack all these guys here these guys unless you want to if you don't want to you can run away from them you don't have to so I think that's kind of cool whereas a lot of games like this you have to attack them you have to kill like 10 zombies to go to the next stage and then 50 zombies the next stage and you have to kill them no matter what and you can't go through until you find that last one and you're hunting all over the bloody graveyard hunting down one bloody zombie or they all hoard after you like uh, left for dead and stuff like that so yeah um, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this uh, review of Pound of Ground. If you've uh, played this game before, uh, let me know. Uh, do you like this game? Would you want to play it? If you have any other game reviews that you'd like me to do um, that I haven't done before, have a look on the old Steam. Um, you can just type in Steam Demo in Google and you'll end up on the Steam Demos website. And then have a look in there, see if there's anything you like. Maybe write it down below and I'll, I'll play it. Um, Okay, well, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me the old thumbs up if you like this video. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you and goodbye.